Our goal for the channel is to bring the delicious back into your food business by sharing tools, systems, and ideas to combat the stresses of hospitality-based businesses. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. We're talking about the mouth-watering profits of burgers. Yes, that's right. I mean, we might be familiar with these in a less than high-end quality version with your big burger chains and your fast food takeaways. But burgers are a huge trend here in Australia and across the globe. You've got these artisan higher quality burgers that are competing for market share with your big chains. Yes, they do attract a higher price point because they're higher quality using better breads, better meats, better salads, better sauces. And it's really amazing to see if you're looking to get into a food business, why burgers are such a great business to be in is because people are of a diverse nature. There are a lot of different flavors that you can put into your burgers. The demand for burgers has never been as high as now. And that means dollars in the bank for you. Burgers are a food that can be eaten at any time of the day. In fact, some restaurant chains have a 24 hour burger service. Imagine having a burger business and at the end of your working day, you go home, you spend time with your family and friends, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day and you check the business bank account and it's grown in size. That's something that a traditional restaurant or cafe doesn't tend to have as part of its acumen. A low cost, barrier to entry version of a burger restaurant could be a kitchen, which is of a production nature, meaning they don't have sit down restaurant service. They just make the burgers to order, have a delivery driver come and deliver it to their customers. Burgers are a really easy food to prepare. They don't require a lot of skill and training. So within your staffing structure, you could have an executive chef or an executive cook who manages the workforce. You could leverage a youth-based workforce. So you could save costs on your staff and you could give back to the community by offering opportunities to young people to better themselves within the labor force. Because burgers are such a high demand and it is an expanding industry, that gives new opportunity to people who want to put their stamp on a personalized type of burger. You can customize it with different types of breads, different types of meats or vegetarian options. You can give it different sauces, different cheeses, all kinds of different variation. And this variation allows you to be very creative. If you're a creative individual, it allows you to have a rotating menu. So to keep the seasons vibrant and continually progressing, which is really encouraging amongst the traditional burger part of the industry, because generally they keep their recipes quite still and stagnant. For the workers who are in these still and stagnant kind of environments, it's not very tantalizing or creative and it's not very motivating. So you've got the opportunity to tap into a huge market, which in this country, Australia, measures about $9 billion. In the US, it's $177 billion. If you've got the desire to get into the food business, and burgers might seem as a great way to do it for you. I would start testing my recipes. I would start testing my recipes out on my family and friends, getting feedback upon them with other co-workers that you might currently have. Put your products out on social media and ask the question, what do you think this burger would taste like? Really getting some engagement around your products. To summarize, if you're really looking to make a pivot out of your nine to five and create a food business that you really love and burgers might seem the thing like you can really do this, just remember there's still hard work involved. You still got to set up a business. You still got to get the relevant food licenses and do the relevant training, but it's not without merit because burgers are a high in demand product. They do carry a reasonable cost of sale, meaning they don't cost a lot to make and you can sell them for a premium price. That sounds like a good return on my investment if there ever was one to be had. If you've liked this video, please let me know by liking or saying something down in the comments section. If you want to stay up to date, click that notification bell and subscribe to my channel because it really helps. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.